In this video, we provide the solution to question number five for the practice final exam for math 1210. We're asked to evaluate the, the definite integral from negative two to two of three x plus one quantity squared with respect to x. Uh, we're gonna do this using the fundamental theorem of calculus part two. And in order to do that, we could do some type of u substitution, like we could take u equals three x plus one and go from there. That wouldn't be so bad. I'm just going to FOIL this thing out though. In which case, if you FOIL three x plus one squared, you end up with nine x squared plus six x plus one dx right here. Um, for which then, if we calculate the antiderivative using the antiderivative version of the power rule, we end up with three x cubed plus three x squared plus x. And we're gonna evaluate this from negative two to two. So we're gonna plug these numbers into, into the function here. So we're gonna get, plug it into the first one, right? x cubed, so we get a two cubed, that's going to be an eight, times that by three, we get 24. Uh, then we plug into the next one, and we're gonna get x squared, it's gonna become a two squared, which is four plus, times that by three, you're gonna get a 12. And then you plug the next one in there, you're gonna get a two. We have to subtract from that if we plug a negative two, right? So if you plug negative two in for x cubed, you're gonna get a negative uh, eight times three is a negative 24. Uh, if you plug it in for the x squared, you're gonna get a positive four times that by three gives you a positive 12. And then lastly, if you plug it in for the, for the x, you're gonna get a negative two there. Notice a little bit of simplification happens. You have 12 minus 12, those cancel out. Um, on the other hand, this, these other negatives will distribute and become positives, in fact. So adding things together, we get 24 plus 24, which is 48, two plus two, which is four. Uh, adding those together, we get 52. And so we see that the correct answer would then be D. 52. Just as a side note, because of some of the way things canceled, when we had this thing expanded, because we have this symmetric interval from negative two to two, it turns out that the odd part would just disappear and the even part would double up. So you could actually have ignored the six X part if you wanted to, as that we saw that with the 12s canceling out later on. 